Hi guys, my name is Joan and today I'll be showing you how to make flowers that last forever. <laughs> okay, let me not say they last forever, but the ones that I have now last about four or five months now and I just want to switch it up a little bit, so that's what we're going to do. This is basically one method of drying out flowers and it's the cheapest one too, which we always go for. In this video, I'll also show you how to make faux ceramic vases to go perfectly with them. So, let's get into the video. Step one, get you some flowers. I got mine from Walmart and we're gonna work with it. First, you want to unwrap your flowers. While doing that, hold on to the rubber bands that come with it since we will be using them later. Next, separate your flowers into groups. Then, we will hang them upside down with one of two methods. In this method, you will need your flowers, the rubber band that you held onto, and a clothing hanger. You will place your flower on the hanger, hold it firmly with your thumb, then secure the two together with the rubber band as shown. You can repeat this as needed, and hang this somewhere dark in your closet. This second method is perfect for those who have corded blinds at home. Wrap your blind string around the flowers, then create a loop and pull the end of the string through to secure it into the blind string. Once again, repeat this as needed. Wait about one to two weeks for these flowers to dry. Hello! It's been a while since I saw you guys. It's been... Oh, my embarrassment. It's been about three or four weeks since the last clip that you saw. You know, school gets in the way. Life comes around and... But I did not forget about this project though. While I was on my daily walks, I just kept an eye out for dry plants around me and I picked some up actually. Here they are. Feast your eyes. <laughs> I like the color of them and some of them have pretty nice shapes. Ooh, one of them is really dry and flaky. I think it's this one. And it's leaving a lot of... I don't even know what that is. A lot of things on my chair. <laughs> But we're still gonna work with it because it's cute. I took down the flowers that we put up last time and I'm going to show you how to prune them. And during my hiatus, I also went to the thrift shop and picked up some vases that I thought had interesting shapes on them or something I just thought would look good in a different color. In the next clips, I'm going to show you how to prune the flowers, number one, and number two, make your faux ceramic vases. So keep watching. While taking down the flowers, I noticed that the baby's breath flowers really dried well and kept to their original shape. I also saw that the colors of the flowers darkened. Keep those tips in mind when you're picking out your flowers. Now, I will go through each flower and prune it, taking off any unsightly leaves and petals. At this state, these flowers are pretty delicate and can break easily, so be careful and gentle. I went through and did the same to the dried flowers I picked in my area. Now that that is done, take the time to clear out your workspace, then get ready for your flower vases to get an upgrade! To paint your vases, you will need a soft bristle paintbrush, some paint, a mixing tray, and baking soda. You're going to start by mixing your paint for the color you want. Be sure to make a lot of this because you do not want to run out of paint midway. I used the light brown and white paint to make my first two colors. Then I used brown and bright red to make my last chocolatey color. Now we will add baking soda to our paint. You want a clumpy texture instead of paint's usual smoothness. And now we paint! <laughs> Be sure to apply multiple light coats instead of thick ones. After about four coats of paint, this is how your new vases should look like. 
that's it for this project. Comment below if you want tips on how to style these. Before we get into the final reveal, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like what you've seen so far, just hit that subscribe button. Press that like button as well. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, just put it down below. I really hope you guys try this project actually because it's so customizable and it's just a really nice way to bring some warmth and life into your space. Just give it a try. Give it a try. Just do it. No, just do it. Okay. Okay. So without further ado, let's see how this project turned out.